but I've found that of all of the coaching methodologies I've encountered, there are three kind of fundamental underlying strategies of what do we do with fear once we've met it and held it and received it that disempowers it. So the fear isn't what's driving my choices anymore. And I call these three underlying strategies, recalibrating, excavating, and elevating. So recalibrating asks what else is true. If fear puts blinders on me so that all I can see is a threat, just looking around and noticing that that's not the whole story is really helpful. Excavating asks what pain is this fear protecting me from? And when I can make peace with that pain, when I can hold that pain loosely, then the fear is also enormously less powerful. The fear just doesn't have the same hooks in me when pain is just part of life. And elevating says, what good thing does this fear want for me? If it's trying to protect me from a threat, it's also trying to bring something good into my life. And if I can hold that as gusto, as a desire, rather than a fear, then I get to be bigger and I'm on an adventure.